Hello, welcome to InfoGamer. Today we're going to do a short tutorial on how to delete our shots from the scene so they won't slow down our game. Because once the bullets leave the game view, we don't want them to exist anymore. As you can see in the hierarchy, we've already created a script, but let's show you how we do it. So let's get started. Go to Prefabs. Click bullet. Make sure your tag is named shot, like this. You can add tag and put, hit the plus, and then type in what you want added. Since I've already added shot, I'm not going to do that, of course. And in my prefabs, I can double check. My tag is labeled shot. This is going to be important so that the trigger works properly. Let's also make sure that the order in layer is number two, because we want the layer of the bullet to be ahead of the background and other layers that we have. Let's go to game object, create empty. Let's rename this boundary box. Let's add a component. Sure, let's add a script first and name this boundary box. <clears throat> Let's also add another component. This is going to be in Physics 2D, Box Collider 2D, and Mark is Trigger in the Box Collider and then the Spectre. Let's zero out the position and change the scale to 15 in the Y and 8 in the X. All right, let's go to our Assets folder. Our script is going to be in there, so let's drag it into our Scripts folder, and let's open it up. Delete everything that's in this public class. We aren't going to use the void start or void update. OK, this first line of code is going to be void on trigger exit 2D, parentheses, and then brackets. All right, make sure on trigger exit 2D is spelled correctly and that all the capitals are in the right place because if you just if you don't capitalize one letter it's not going to throw an error in. unity engine the unity engine is going to think that you created you're creating a new function but we're wanting to use this function which is a pre-made function in the unity engine that checks when a trigger exits a 2d parameter which is our collider 2d and that's what we're going to type in the parentheses. So in this function, we're going to put an if statement. And in the argument, it's going to say other.gameObject.compare tag, parentheses, and in the parentheses, quotes, a shot. And I'll tell you what this line of code is doing after I type it. OK. And the in the argument of the if statement, we're checking if other dot game object, so this other 2D collider, if the game object tag is shot. That's what we're checking in the argument. And if it is shot, we're going to want to delete that game object. So let's type destroy other dot game object semicolon all right this is all the code this is all the scripting that we need for it to work this line of code is saying you know if the game object if this other dot game object tag has shot then delete the de then delete this other dot game object which is the same thing that we're checking, the same game object that we're checking the tag on. All right, so control S and let's go back to Unity. Let's play and see if see if we got it working. Sweet. You can see the bullets are being created and then they're being deleted from the hierarchy as soon as they leave this Collider 2D box. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.